Hey guys, how's it going? All right, I have a little Frantic Stamper haul here. And um, I love Fran. She's, I'm telling you, that company rocks. And it was like super fast lightning shipping. It was just great. I did not even expect it today. I didn't even expect it tomorrow. I expected it maybe Monday. But whatever, it's here. So I'm excited. Okay, so um, I wanted some variety um, in the Distress spray stains. But... I don't know, like, I'm, I don't use them a lot, lot, but I do use them, and I plan on using them more, so I, they found, or they had these little mini bottles in some of them, uh, maybe it was a thing in the past, and it sold out, I'm not sure, but, um, so I got the minis, or the mini size, and what I could, so this is the Hickory Smoke and Broken China, and also minis in Walnut Stain and Antique Linen. Although, I kind of think I should have bought big one in this because I feel like I will use that a lot, but I don't know. Um, and then I got the full size in Faded Jeans and Speckled Egg. And um, Twisted Citron, Blueprint Sketch, and Seedless preserve, Preserves. Um, I do have the, the new blue coming called oh, something about like Prize Ribbon or something like that. But um, that is from Scrapbook.com, so we'll have to wait for that because Frantic Stamper didn't have it in yet. Um, so then I got some oxide sprays in Chip Sapphire, Tattered Rose, Milled Lavender, um, Seedless Preserves, and Faded Jeans. So, um, I, I still don't know which one I like better, honestly. They're different, you know, um, as far as using them. And they have totally different looks, so. Alright, so... Then I picked up um, this Distress, Micro Distress Glaze. Um, I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. I don't know. I've never tried it. Let me know if you guys have. But I want to see what all the hype is about. I did pick up one of these, um, the Mag Metallic Gilding Polish in Silver Dream. So, one of those. All right. Then I got a cute little die from Fran herself. She has her own line, too. Um, and it says Journey. I've never seen red feathers. Woohoo! Um, so I uh, I picked up a little bit of those. So we're still going on with the feather cards. I know you guys. I hope y'all aren't, aren't getting super tired of them because I still have like a million to do. I may take a little break and do a couple other cards that I really need to do just so it kind of breaks it up in case people you know are sick of the feathers. Um, but I'm probably going back to the feathers. But anyway. Um, so this is kind of, I want to get, move on into my B cards as well. And so I couldn't resist this one. Um, it doesn't look that great just here. Uh, they're not showing a sample, but once you stamp these like along here and make a little frame, it's really cute. So just because I love you, happy B day, hey honey, um, hello sunshine, and then like the little hive thing there. And anyway, I think it's cute. Um, then the the word dream and imagine and little die cuts. So they're fairly small, but I kind of wanted them fairly small. Um, I wish you could see dies in person though sometimes. So um, you guys know I want to do some crow things coming up. And this is by Impression Obsession here at the bottom. And um, once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary. Anyway, um, you know, some Poe stuff there. Nevermore. So, and then I got this funny Poe thing. Um, so, he's kind of, it's the Stamping Bella line. It's the Oddball Collection, which, you know, I am an oddball, so hey. Uh, oddballs, Egg Rowland, it's EB1015, if anybody cares. Anyway, never to suffer would never to have been blessed. Egg Rowland Poe, nevermore. Um, don't quote me on that. Raven mad about you. I just, I think that's adorable. So... Then, um, I love so many things from Alta New, but I just cannot get them all. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got this leaf cluster stamp set, and I adore this. I almost didn't get the die, just partly because it's so darn expensive. But, um, because I'm mainly going to use, like, this one and this one. And I don't know that I'll use the die that much, but then I saw a card sample. So, like, and you have to have that die. So, man. Anyway, this is the Woodware brand. Um, catch your dreams, adventure awaits, be unique, be yourself, stand tall, be wise, you are loved. And I thought this, and it's got a little feather too, but I thought these would be kind of cool with some of my feather things. 
um, I, I have one. If I can find it, I'll get it out. And, well, I'll probably use it, my feather stuff. Um, but I'll show you guys. This is uh, called Dream Hunters from Scrapman. I think this is like a Russian brand. Um, but anyway, it's kind of like a dream catcher, you know, but a little different. Um, it's just feathery goodness, I feel like. But the other one that I have is, is slightly different. But I will cut some and, and do some of both. Um, and then, <laughs> I still got this. I couldn't resist just one more little stamp set. Um, and I've got a million feather things to use. I don't know why. But then, once you're thinking about them, then you're noticing them more. And I don't know. So, okay. Follow your dreams. Um, be the reason someone smiles today. Catch your dreams. Wild and free. May all your dreams come true. Free love. Choose to be happy. Dream. But I just... And the words are fun. But I just love this. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so next I got a bunch of embossing folders. Um, these are the square type 3D embossing folders and beautiful flowers. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this one is called Decorative Florals. And I got this flower one. It's called Daisy Bed. And this one is called Brick Wall. Okay, it's a six by six size. Uh, this one is from Creative Expressions, and does it have a name? Sublime Swirls. Um, and the, these um, are used with these a lot, and they show them, like, some of their samples or whatever, so I kind of fell in love with that one from that. Bountiful Blossoms from Creative Expressions. Um, another Alta New Flower one. Um, beautiful I don't know, Virginia, Virginia, I don't know. Anyway, I guess it's a flower. Um, Enchanting Vines, I don't know my flower name, so I love, I love vines. Um, and, and if they're enchanted, hey, you know, all the better, no. But anyway, I just love vines and things that hang down. I don't know why I don't do that more on my cards. I'm gonna start doing that. We're gonna have some hangy down vines. Anyway, uh, I wanted to do an ocean card soon, so I saw this Mighty Waves die, and I do have a Waves die, but it, like, kind of goes this way, and I, these were so interesting and different that I really like that. Okay, one last feather thing. Well, it's not true. I got some paper, but <laughs> basically the last actual feather thing. Um, it's called Floating Foliage, and but it's kind of leafy and feathery, I feel like, so it could be either one. In my mind, it's feathers, but it could also be leaves, so, you know. Um, okay, I said that one, and yeah, I said that one. All right, so let me move these so I can get to the paper. Okay, so look at that. Oh, my gosh. So I just typed in feathers, and this is what came up so pretty. This is the Boho Dreams collection by Kaiser Craft, and wow, so pretty. And then that is the back. The back's pretty too, but wow. So, I got two of those. I wish I would have gotten more, actually. Um, I'm going to be doing some chicken cards. Anyway, so, uh, you don't need to hear my chicken noises, but I just got one sheet of that to see what I thought about it. Um, the bees will probably come first. And then I got this chicken piece of paper. This is uh, called Homegrown by what? I don't know. Echo Park. Um, and then, it's turned upside down. Okay, this is the uh, Black and Craft Ravens. And this is by, who is this? Canvas. Canvas Corporation. Anyway, um, I just thought that would be really awesome for my raven and crow cards and then this is um called you know the raven um but it's it's got it all written out here so once upon a midnight dreary whatever anyway so and it goes all through it and i think that is just amazing and i can't wait to play with this so i bought one two three four pages of that and it's just got a craft colored um, back so, but if I'm going to do, you know, that with that, I think that'd be So, anyway. All right, guys. That is all for my haul today. And, um, let me know what your favorite thing is. And, uh, let me know if you've tried, this is not the new one, but when the new one comes out, the, uh, 
blue ribbon. I'm pretty sure it's called blue ribbon. But it's blue. It's pretty blue. Anyway, let me know if you've tried that and what all things you've done with it. I've seen some really good videos online lately and um, that have some beautiful samples and stuff with that color. So, And I think it'll mix well with quite a few other colors. Even the, um, like the black and the, what was that, gray? Like this one, the hickory smoke. I think it'll go nice with that and just whatever. So anyway, hope you guys are doing good and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys.